Tailwinds help you fly faster, right? But on landing, they can ruin your day. When you're cruising at 38,000 feet, uh, a strong tailwind boosts your ground speed. Same fuel burn, but you get there faster. Perfect for schedules, perfect for savings. But land with a tailwind and, and things get dicey. Your airspeed stays the same, but your ground speed increases. Sometimes by 10, 20, even 30 knots. That means you hit the runway faster and you need more distance to stop. That is why most airlines limit tailwind landings to just 10 knots or less. Go beyond that and you are looking at longer rollouts, overheated brakes and a much higher chance of a go around, especially on short, wet or high altitude runways. Many runway overruns? Tailwind is part of the problem because when you are landing faster than you planned, there is less time to brake, less margin for error and less runway under your wheels. A 10 knot tailwind can add 20% or more to your stopping distance. So yes, tailwinds get you there faster, but they also make your landing harder, hotter and riskier. That is why pilots prefer a headwind every time. It slows you down on approach, it shortens your rollouts and, and it gives you control when it counts. Tailwind, fine for flying, terrible for landing,